Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeanette. If you're new here, it's awesome to have you. I am doing a little bit of home goods shopping today. I'm pretty sure that I've seen a good amount of the Halloween stuff at home goods. However, I hear that they're popping new stuff on the shelves, stuff that we haven't seen before. So I'm going to go inside, shop around a little bit, bring you guys along and see if we find any new goodies. Fingers crossed. I finally find the rest of the monsters in collection, the Ray Dunn monsters in collection. That is what I have my eye on. And if we find a few Halloween bonuses, that's even better. All right, guys, let's go inside. Let's shop around and let's have a good time. Happy pre-fall slash Halloween. Right at the entrance, they had this beautiful display for Halloween. This piece right here reminded me of Indiana Jones. I'm not sure why, probably all the stock skulls. Of course, I had to test it out and see what it does and it lights up. Look how beautiful that is. I believe it retailed for, yep, $99.99. Pretty good price for something so big. They also had it in this white version with the red eyes. I loved both of them, guys. I think these are great pieces for Halloween displays. Loving all this folky art. These look like they're carved out of wood. Very inexpensive. Oh, Joanna Parker, all the rage. I almost have FOMO on these mugs. I should have totally picked them up. This guy right here reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, like the Cheshire Cat, but like a twisted, demented version. Love the little hat on him. Of course, the ghosts, they're all the rage this season, $19.99 for this little guy. Not really sure, I think it's like a lantern. Maybe you put like a tea light in there. Another fantastic Joanna Parker piece. This one was $29.99. I almost got it, almost, but I couldn't justify the $30. Now this one right here, beautiful little candy dish by Potter Studios. That one was a little bit less expensive than the Joanna Parker um, candy dish. Love this owl. That is also Joanna Parker, also retailed for $29.99. You guys know, I love my Mickey. I love my Nightmare Before Christmas. I have a little bit of regret not getting this cutting board and it was so inexpensive with Jack and Sally. Another Joanna Parker set, reminds me of Alice in Wonderland again. This little teapot right here, super cute. I think it was like $12.99. Oh my gosh, everybody's going crazy for these goblets. They're also Joanna Parker, $24.99. Feeling witchy. This little pillow was super cute. I love the tutu on there. Look at this one, the little skeletons with the tutus. Penny would go crazy for that. They have some really beautiful pillows this season, I cannot lie. And they range between $16.99 and $24.99. This candle is beautiful if you're doing like a Thanksgiving tablescape. Smelled really, really nice as well. These beautiful lanterns, well this lights up. They did have it in orange and white, retailed for $29.99. Beautiful piece to also add to like a mantle or maybe a, you know, like a table if you have a giant sized dining table. Oh my gosh, the dash, waffle irons. My husband is going to kill me. He's like, if you bring another waffle iron home, we're gonna have issues. <laughs> but the skull one, I don't have that one yet and I almost got it, not gonna lie. Of course, we ran into more Ray Dunn items. They had tumblers, they had the can coolers, they had these beautiful mugs, Jeepers Creepers. I love this one. I actually bought this one last year with that little um, frail looking cat. He looks a little bit spooky there. $6.99 is the new price on the Ray Dunn mugs. Wicked Witch, this one is a little bit different. It actually had the little witch hat in the back, so I was happy to see that. Didn't pick it up, but it's very cute. Ooh, this guy's feeling batty, super adorable. I think you put a little lantern or tea light in there and you can hang them up. Oh my gosh, guys, these gnomes, are you kidding me, for Thanksgiving? Again, if you're doing a tablescape. Now these little skeleton jars, I have a little bit of regret not picking up. They were so inexpensive at $6.99 and you can put anything in here. This little guy was so cool. He reminded me of Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Shock, Lock, and Barrel, one of the characters in that little group. Glow in the Dark, so super cute. Uh, retailed for $16.99, not a bad price for something like that, if you're into that. These little woolly guys, they're Draculas, super cute, $12.99. And this eyeball here, it lights up. Look how cool that is. I wish I had space for this because this is like right up my alley. I would totally rock this for Halloween. $39.99, not a bad price. She's beautiful, love her. They did have some costumes in stock, some newer ones. This pumpkin one was not there the last time that I went. I only saw the princess and dragons. And they also had tons of trick-or-treating buckets and baskets. These are fantastic here and they're great because you can reuse them for storage. These right here, these had my heart. They had Penny and Max's name all over them. These guys were cute too. Love the kitty cat with the little ears and the heart nose. She was adorable and these all retailed for about $12.99. Jackpot. Jackpot, I won the lottery, there they are, exactly what I was looking for. Mike and Sully, you are for sure coming home with me today. Look at this one, Monster Crew, and the back is Mike and Sully running away. We're not sure from what, but it's super awesome. Guys, 
I'm so happy that I found those. That's exactly what I was looking for. These little LED fairy lights, come on now. I've never seen these at Home Goods. I usually get these at Target. $7.99, they had bats and spiders. And then this beautiful little candy corn. Not sure what it is. Is it a paperweight? Is it just a display thing? It's just decoration, I guess, right? There's really no function, but it's really cute. Oh my God, Mario Brothers. These new plushies, the candy corn, all spectacular. Love them all. All right, friends, we are back at my place. I do have a swap haul for you. It's not as big as my normal hauls, but I did pick up a few things on the Home Goods run. I am so excited. I can't believe that I finally found the Monsters Inc. Uh, Disney Ray Dunn collaboration. I have been looking for this collection for a long time, and it's probably the collection I'm most excited about. I was able to find the Scream Team, Monster Crew, and Boo. So Scream Team and Monster Crew have both uh, Sully and Mike on the back. Look how cool that looks. And then Monster Crew has Sully and Mike uh, running there. They're super cute. They look like they're spooked and running away from something. I love the colors. They're fantastic. The inside of this one is green. The inside of this one is blue. And then the Boo mug has Boo herself on the back there. Look how adorable that is. She's in that purple. I love that they did this collection in color, not uh, the typical black color that they've been doing um, in the last previous Disney collections. Um, and these all retail for $9.99. So super excited that I found the Monsters Inc. collection. I grabbed a couple of Halloween goodies for my kiddos. Um, these little treat bags are amazing for trick or treating. Uh, I got the pumpkin one from Mr. Max. They're just like a felt bag and they do have a handle. They're just so cute. I couldn't leave these. Um, retail for $9.99 from $14. And that is the brand there, RGI Home. Never heard of it, but super cute. Again, it's one of those things that you just, you can only find at Home Goods. You see it once and then you You'll never see it again. And then this one here is from Miss Penelope. It says boo with the little ghost holding the sign. Super adorable. Also a nice felt has the handle also retail for $9.99. Same brand. So Penny and Max are good for their trick or treat bags. Last item here, I'm trying to get my kids into doing more puzzles, especially seasonal ones. This one is by Crocodile Creek. It's three plus, so it's gonna be perfect for us to do with Max and Penny. I love the Haunted House one. They did have a pumpkin and ghost one, but um, I decided to go with this one. It just looked like there was just way more going on on the scene. Retail for $7.99. I thought it was a great price for such a quality puzzle. We have a few items from Crocodile Creek, and I'll tell you what, they're like $15 plus. All right, guys, that's everything. Happy pre-Halloween. I hope that you enjoyed the shop through. I hope that you guys are enjoying the voiceovers, and I hope that you enjoyed my mini haul. If you guys haven't subscribed, hit that red subscribe button and like this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.